Salutations and welcome to the farm. Well, we're back out here at the 1902 corn crib and the last time we left off, we painted all of the white that we could in the odd rows that I have taped out here. I told you I was gonna come back and we were gonna start with that dark teal and I had every bunny rabbit, ooh squirrel. Um, I had every intention of coming out the next day and getting right into that teal color but then we had really severe weather. We had 12 tornadoes in the area that day. It was like pitch black out here in the daytime. Tons of rain, lots of wind. I was worried that the old corn crib was even gonna still be here so that we could finish our quilt. I thought, boy, wouldn't that be ironic to honor it with a barn quilt for all of the things it has withstood, tornadoes and all and then have it taken down but we were fortunate it survived everything looks good out here even the paint that I put on the day before is firmly in that wood it's good to go so let's go ahead and continue on today we're gonna get that dark teal on and let's get painting this corn crib you know I came all the way down here to the corn crib and I forgot the masking tape to mask off to have nice crisp clean lines but I'm going to work on this corner here. So this tape was here so I could paint the light teal. I've peeled it off, flipped it around, and I've reattached it. And I've pressed on it real well. So hopefully we have good connectivity here. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint our first dark teal square. These blues, these teal blues are just going to really play so nicely against each other. This barn quilt is really going to start to pop. Archie's saying good morning in the background. Almost a party foul right there. I almost messed that one up. But that tape saved the day. Today, I'm going to be able to do six total of these little diagonal half squares. That'll be the equivalent of three full squares. Kind of make up for the fact that I wasn't able to paint the last couple of days because of poor weather. Can you hear the buzzing of the plane? The farmers are starting to crop dust their fields. I suspect we will be visited by a crop duster soon. When we first bought this farm, this was an organic farm that surrounded us. And the man who used to farm the land was an organic farmer. And so for the first few years, we didn't have crop dusters, but that land was sold and he no longer farms it, and a new farmer has taken over planting crops and he has it crop dusted, and I remember just how terrified I was the first time the crop duster went over our farm to get to the field next to us, flew directly over the house. So low, I, I thought for sure that there was a plane crash that we were gonna have a plane crash into our house. I didn't know, I didn't expect a, a crop duster. I will admit that when I recorded it, I went outside with my camera to record it. 
see what was going on once I realized it was a crop duster. I waited for its return path, and it flew so low right over my head. I wasn't expecting it. I had some very colorful language that day in that video, and it was just very unexpected. It just, it just came right out of my mouth. I didn't mean to be so descriptive, but boy was I. That crop duster scared me. Scared all the animals, upset the dogs, and I was just really thankful that he didn't spray our little CJ donkey and my little garden that I had going last year. Okay, there's one. We've got about five more to go today.
there we go. Number four is done. Two more to go. And then I'm going to clean up my brushes today and head on into town. This section is going to work out perfectly to create one of those pinwheels that I told you about. So we'll be doing two half squares on the diagonal opposite of each other and they're going to make a pinwheel for the center of this beautiful barn quilt.
It's coming together. I think I've only got one more diagonal to do today, and then I'll be done with the dark teal. Boy, it sure is bright behind me, isn't it? <laughs> I think the settings on my video camera are a little off, but I look like, don't walk into the bright light. Don't walk into the light. Well, thank you for joining me today painting here on this barn quilt with the beautiful dark teal color. I've checked my color chart, and that's all that we can paint safely today. I have some more dark teal that needs to go on, but it's in those upper higher areas where I don't dare climb up on the ladder while I'm here at the farm by myself. I'll wait for my husband to help me with those, but look at the beautiful dark teal with the light teal and how everything's gonna start popping. The yellow and the dark yellow are gonna contrast. You can start seeing some of the pinwheels come together. This is gonna be a beautiful design when it's done. So thank you for coming here to the farm with me today and spending some time with me painting. I'm going to try to come back tomorrow and we'll paint some more on these rows. Until we see each other again, take care of yourself, take care of each other, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.